Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. So I am back uh, with a prophetic word and I thank God for reminding me about this word. This word is a word that I was actually going to share and it was within that week that I was waiting for this mic. Um, I tweaked the volume a little bit. So I'm hoping that that makes a difference. Um, again, thank you guys for your patience. I love you all. Um, so let's just jump right into this word. Uh, so this word is from Lana Vosser. Okay. I feel like I've shared a word from her. It could be someone else that sounds familiar. Um, but I'm going to read her bio just to give you guys a background of her. So Lana Vosser is an active member of the Australian Prophetic Council and releases prophetic words for the body of Christ and nations and is featured regularly regularly on the Elijah List and in Charisma Magazine. And that is a little bit about her. Okay. So before I go into the word, um that she received from the Lord. Uh, she said, I heard the Lord say, I am reminding you again of who you are. I am taking a stand for you on your behalf and I am clearing the way for you. I am making a way for you to enter into your new day where you are picking up new assignments that I am giving you and you shall carry my fire my authority, and my divine intel in a way that you have never seen or carried before. And now we're going to go into her word, uh, and it's called, I am reinstating the warrior within you. Recently, I heard the Lord speaking over many. I am reinstating the warrior within you. I felt strongly to look up the definition of reinstate, and here's what I found. Reinstate, to restore someone or something to their former position or state. Some synonyms for reinstate is restore, put back, replace, bring back, reinstitute, reinstall, and reestablish. As I sat with the Lord, I had a vision. I saw so many had been in such an intense battle over the past few years. The enemy thought he had taken them out completely. They also felt like they were but a shadow of who they were previously because of all they had endured. But then, suddenly, the prophetic decree of the Lord and his power came into their lives. In a moment, I saw the Lord deal with spiritual amnesia that the battle had caused, and there was a sudden comeback. I watched as they arose with greater strength, and the fire in their eyes and their hearts burned stronger than ever. The fire awakening to their authority in Christ, and knowing what it means to live in Him, and the power of His name, burst a roar from Him that had not been released through them before. The resolve the boldness and the authority in their eyes were blazing stronger than ever. They have battled with a spirit of fear, witchcraft, and intimidation in such intense ways this season. But now the Lord says, the season has shifted, the battle has broken, and I am raising you up as my bold ones to go forth on new assignments and to destroy the works of the dark from the place of deep communion with me. The enemy thought he could take you out. The enemy thought he could take you down, but the Lord is breaking the spiritual amnesia. I heard the Lord say, I am reminding you again of who you are. I am taking a stand for you on your behalf. There it goes again. And I'm clearing the way for you. I am making a way for you to enter into your new day where you are picking up new assignments that I am giving you and you shall carry my fire, my authority, and my divine intel in a way that you have never seen or carried before. Where the enemy came to take you out, 
where the enemy came to destroy you in that season, I have used what the enemy did, did to try and kill you, to raise you up in and with a fortified faith that will not be shaken. In the battle, you have received a fire of faith that cannot be taken from you. You couldn't feel it in the battle, but now you can feel it. You can feel the fire in you of, in you of faith that will not be shaken. It will not be stolen. You can feel the roar building within you. And I say unto you today that you have been forged and formed in a fire that not many have endured. But I am raising you up now to lead in these war days. What it looks like to walk in ferocious faith like never before. <clears throat> Two weeks ago, I had a dream. And for hours, I heard the Lord saying, Double, 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 double recompense. Over and over again. As I sat with the Lord over this dream, I realized that the Lord had spoken seven words. I sense so strongly the seven-year cycle, a season of completion, and the entering of a new season. To those who have been knocked down, who feel as if the warrior within almost got completely knocked out of you, the Lord is releasing his prophetic decree over you today. He is reinstating the warrior within you and there is double recompense upon you. The Lord is encouraging you that there is now a new season upon you that you have stepped into where you will see the divine recompense of the Lord. The Lord is bringing forth that swift recompense, recovery, restoration, and restitution. The Lord reminded me again of the new assignments he had spoken about. I had heard him say, get ready for new assignments. He is releasing new assignments right now. And where you may feel like you are not prepared because of what you've been through or because of the battle you have endured, I hear the Lord say, you are perfectly prepared. Through all you have endured, as you stayed close to the heart of Jesus, as you have stayed in the place of holding on to him, he has forged in you the preparation needed for what you are stepping into. You will now begin to see the fruit of what was forged in you in the fire. The assignments he is calling you to step into will be stepped into with great ease. You will find the slipstream of his grace, his anointing, and his power. I heard the Lord say, you will see it fits. You will see it fits like a glove. You have been fashioned and formed, purged, strengthened, and fortified in what has been for many of you the most intense battles of your lives the past few years. The enemy tried to take you out. But God had a greater plan. He has fortified you in him. He has birthed faith that is ferocious within you. He has made your roots in him. And you now burn with these words within. In him. He has delivered you. He has strengthened you in the fire that you thought was going to kill you. Here is your comeback. He is reinstating the warrior within you. I heard the Lord say, you are going forth to lead a charge. The roar of the Lion of Judah that is coming forth from within you is going to see seismic shifts or seismic shifts as his power, his prophetic voice, his presence, and his word go forth. Warrior, you are arising in this hour with greater empowerment of the spirit and his power to build, shake, and shift that which he has assigned to you. Praise God. And Jesus is so amazing. Everything happens 
at the most perfect time. Although this is a word that I had picked out. Again, I hadn't read it. Um, you know, I just, I asked the Lord, okay, which word should I read and release, you know, from other prophets? And I just obey. But because again, I was having issues with the mic. I didn't have a mic at the time. The perfect timing is now. And I say that because not only because of the comments that I read today, where there may be some um, discouragement, hopelessness, you feel like giving up, you know, you feel like the prophecies are not coming to pass. And um, you may feel like the situation in your life right now is not getting better. Like you're maybe questioning God, where are you? Right? So I I thank God for this word that he allowed me to read today. He brought into my remembrance because, again, he hears all conversations. He sees all things. So take this personal that he heard you. He knows your thoughts. And this is a reminder that God is not done yet. God has a plan and let me tell you that there are a bunch of prophecies that have already been fulfilled. There is so many prophecies, like I can't even keep up with them. Honestly, I, I can't keep up with them, but I know that God is working. And so again, that's why it's so important. Um, you know, if I do share a word from like Julie Green or any of the other prophets and you know of um, a prophecy that's been fulfilled, share it in the comments because that way we can encourage each other. Um, and again, this word is for you. It's for all of us. It's for myself as well. And God is saying that he is going to restore everything that the enemy has stolen. Double, double for your trouble. And those are the words that I've been hearing all this year from all the prophets, double double portions, double blessings, right? We're in the year of 22, double restoration, reinstatement of our real presidents. I mean, I just love how God works. <laughs> you know, I, I love how God works. Um, and honestly, I can tell you guys that I know that this year for sure is a year of new assignments, right? Because as you guys know, I have a new job and I come from the medical field. So I have about seven plus years of working in the medical field. I was working at a hospital. I worked at doctor's offices before, um, but now he has me at a med spa studio. So it's definitely different from what I've ever done before. And it's very, very new. Um, I'm going into, this is my third week or fourth, third week, I believe. And it's, it's a lot that I have to learn. And I'll be honest with you. Um, when you know what you're doing, you're confident, but when you don't know what you're doing, you're like, and I know that my coworkers or my manager can sense it. Right. Um, but I'm learning, like I'm willing to learn and, um, this is the thing. I have two choices, right? I can sit here and just be like, oh my gosh, I'm going to give up. Like, I can't seem to remember this, or I can't seem to learn all this information. Or I can say, you know what? I want to take it one day at a time. As long as I'm willing to learn, I'm going to continue pressing forward because although it's hard right now, God is helping me build that endurance. I'm learning something new and once I've learned it, I'm going to be confident in it versus, again, if I were to quit. It's just two different feelings. I know that I'm going to be so proud of myself knowing that I pushed through, learning all these new things, and then I'm going to be so much more confident at my job. But if I were to quit, I would feel sad. I would feel depressed. I would feel like, man, Melissa, like you, you know, you couldn't do it and all these things. It's just like two different types of perspectives, right? So again, in this season that we're in right now, we are so close. We are so close to literally seeing 
God's glory hit this entire earth, right? We are this close to the promises that he's promised us. But God is saying, hold on. The goal of the enemy has been to wear us out. It has been to steal our joy, our peace, um, our finances. But God is saying that he is about to restore double for your trouble. And also from what I know, from what he's spoken to other prophets, is God is going to reward those who stayed faithful until the end. So don't give up because that's exactly what the enemy wants. The enemy does not want you to have the promises that God gave you because if you give up now, you won't be able to obtain them. But God wants to bless you. So stand strong. And I'm going to share a word, um, a scripture. Um, I was listening to a video and I heard them mention this and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I want to share this tonight um, because again, I, you know, I saw the comments and, and we're all here to encourage each other. So I want you guys to feel encouraged. So the scripture is in Galatians 6 verse, verse 9. So Galatians 6 verse 9. So let's not get tired of doing what is good. At just the right time, we will reap a harvest of blessing if we don't give up. So it's here. It's right in God's word. It says it, right? We are going to reap what we sow. So stay strong, stay encouraged. And again, just know, yes, the enemy is going to try to come against you, but it's because he knows what is on your life. And he does not want you to make it. He doesn't want you to discover it. He doesn't want you to be able to see the blessings that God has promised. But for me, I want to make the devil mad. <laughs> I really want to make the devil mad. So I honestly used to feel so, um, I would get so down and I'd get so frustrated. Like, oh my gosh, like, why is the devil bothering me? Like, he needs to leave me alone. But I... Now take it as a sign like, no, I'm doing something right. And if he's getting upset, then he's getting upset. But I'd rather please God than to please the devil. So, man, this was such a good word tonight. Uh, I hope this encouraged you. I love you. Um, thank you guys so much again for the support. Again, please feel free to leave the comments. And again, if there are prophecies being fulfilled that you know of, please share in the comments so that we can all stay encouraged together. Um, God is so good. God loves you. I love you too. Be blessed. And I will see you guys in our next video.